All right, uh, today we're going to talk about reversing servos. Now, um, what I've got set up here now is a uh, splitter uh, reverser. So, uh, normally when you hook up uh, servos and you want to be able to uh, control um, two servos going in the same direction, set end to end like this, uh, usually what happens is one will go one way, the other one will go the other way. Um, now, with the splitter, it allows both of them to go the same way. Um, so that's kind of cool, but you got this extra lead here with all this extra electrical stuff and more stuff to put into things that it's just um, a lot more stuff to put into a, into a helmet or uh, uh, part of armor or whatnot. So uh, this is one way you can do it. So this is uh, just with the servo tester uh, with the connection coming off going to the electronics to reverse the servos. So basically they travel the same direction. Now if I were to remove this and put in these here. Let's see, let's go this way. You always want to make sure you hook up your servos the right way or else there is a potential you can fry them. Okay, so this is just hooked up standard without a splitter. Oh, let me go the other way. There we go. All right, so now if you hold these butt to butt like this, you can see they travel in opposite directions. So, as I said, the splitter is one way to do it. The other way to do it would be actually to take the servo apart. Let me go ahead and turn this off. Um, take the servo apart, like I did with this one here and uh, you reverse the two outside lines. So that would be, um, on this one it would be the, looks like the green and the yellow. It's kind of hard to see because it's super close. But uh, you want to do that and then reverse the motor as well. So um, on this one here it would just be these two wires here, right on the end. So, and I'll be doing that in a little bit here and I'll be back shortly with uh, how to do that so um, I gotta get this set up and then get the soldering iron out so I'll be right back